What's going on, everybody? Um, Chris Pearson here. Just want to give you guys uh, a quick uh, update on the schedule for this week. Um, my schedule's been really, really crazy this week. Um, I've been working nights uh, every day um, beforehand. I really haven't had time to really uh, research, you know, numbers and break down schedules. Um, so here's, and I've been trying to get the comment out on YouTube, won't upload my comments. I was trying to do, I was trying to do a live recording, won't do that. So I don't know if YouTube's having issues today or what, but uh, with some stuff, but it's just, for some reason, it's not working. So here's what the, kind of the plan is now. I'm going to kind of spend today, um, you know, kind of researching, breaking down things. Um, so tomorrow I plan to record and upload hoping YouTube works. Um, I I'm, I'm hope you can get this video up in the first place. Uh, I'm going to record and upload the week nine preview of the FFSR uh, tomorrow. The ha Halloween, yes, it's a Halloween episode, so I'm very excited about that as well. Um, so that will be tomorrow. Um, but here is my quick breakdown for tonight's Thursday night game uh, between the Saints and the Panthers. Um, the no-brainers, obviously, for the Saints, you're talking, you know, Drew Brees, Mark Ingram at running back, um, Marcus Colston, and Jimmy Graham, if he plays. He played last week um, and was back from the uh, shoulder injury, so if he plays, he's obviously a must-start guy. Um, in terms, you know, Mark Ingram's going to be a big-time play, I think, this week, because, again, with, with Pierre Thomas and Kerry Robinson both out this week, Ingram's going to get the bulk of the work. Now, Travaris Cadet might also be a sleeper uh, in PPR League still as well, so you want to make sure to keep an eye on him uh, as well. Standard Leagues, I think, is nothing more than maybe like a you know, flex or maybe a desperate RB3, um, but that's how I, I rate those guys. Uh, and you're not you're not starting any of the defenses in this game. You're not starting any of the DSTs, Saints or Panthers. It's probably going to be an offensive battle between these two. I mean, the Saints really has not been a great DST all year, and Carolina can still make plays. Carolina's DST has been able to stop a nosebleed uh, at a control roller coaster, um, you know, or the Saints offense, considering the Saints offense just put up 44 points on Green Bay. So imagine what they're going to do against a Carolina defense that has not been special. So you're not starting either of those in this game. Um, and in terms of the other Saints wide receivers, I like Brandon Cooks a little bit more than Kenny Stills. Um, I think I'll rate Cooks as a wide receiver three. And it still is nothing more than a wide receiver four or a desperate flex option. Um, I think Cooks just has a little bit more upside than Stills does. In terms of the Panthers, you guys probably know the three no-brainer must-starts. Cam Newton, Kelvin Benjamin, Greg Olson. I mean, those guys are normally in your lineups every single week. Um, in terms of the running back situation, though, I would probably, if you can, avoid it. Um, I... You know, it looked like Jonathan Stewart would be a really good play because the health of D'Angelo Williams is in question, but now we hear reports that Williams is coming back for tonight's game. So once again, it's going to be that full-blown running back committee that really doesn't work. Um, so it's going to be a 50-50 split probably. So I really only look at either guy. I still prefer Stewart over Williams, um, but so if you had to pick one, I'd prefer Stewart, but I can't really rate either guy as anything more than a desperate RB3 or a flex. Um I'm not fond of either, so that's the way I see those guys not recommended plays this week uh, in this matchup. So that's the Thursday night breakdown. The breakdown for the rest of the week will come tomorrow. Hopefully, I hope the video gets up. I hope this video gets up with YouTube's issues today. Uh, so good luck tonight, um, and stay tuned as always for the fret for the week nine preview of the FFSR, the Halloween episode coming up tomorrow. God bless and good luck tonight. Thanks, guys.